I have always educated myself on both sides of every argument. Whatever the topic may be, I've always prided myself on that ability to investigate both sides. Trust me, I've looked into everything because I'm not, like I said, married to this vegan label or this plant-based lifestyle. I am married to truth, and it's not about the food. This is soul nourishment, soul food. What we bring to you guys on this channel is not just a pretty plate of styled food. It's not just a smoothie bowl. It's about so much more than that. It's about self-worth. Let's get back to humanity. Let's not focus so much on throwing people under the bus who disagree with us. There are so many different ways to live a beautiful life. Let's recognize humanity. Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the channel. So I figured it was about time to give you guys a follow up on my vegan transformation story and answer one burning question, am I still vegan? So of course I will answer that question, but I wanna take you guys through a little bit of an update as to where I've been since becoming basically a mom of two now living in South Florida. So if you guys like videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what resonated with you. Maybe if something is relatable to you and make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We would love for you to be a part of the Eat Move Rest family. There is so much amazingness here. We've got so much free content both on YouTube and Instagram and you can also check out the Eat Move Rest meal planner linked below. We update it monthly with brand new recipes and our Eat Move Rest eBooks as well. And we are also working on a print book. So stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't already watched my previous vegan body transformation story and Dusty and I's vegan before and after story. I'll link those below. You'll want to make sure and get caught up on our backstory with all of that so I don't have to rehash all of the details there. There were a lot of symptoms that I experienced both internal and external. Everything from feelings of depression to anxiety and panic attacks, weight gain, hormonal acne, as well as mood swings. I was a puddle of tears in college. I also experienced a lot of numbness, tingling, lethargy, weakness, brain fog, irritability. I was very socially awkward because I was already an extremely anxious, shy, quiet person. And all of these scary symptoms just made it that much more difficult for me to ever function in public. I talk a lot about that, how I overcame a lot of that through basically cleaning up my diet and lifestyle before I even went vegan. So a lot of the healing work happened when I just took ownership for my own body and what I was putting into it and how I was treating it. From quitting the partying scene, starting to work out, starting to eat cleaner, even though I was still including animal products, a lot of the healing took place while I was doing those things. Going plant-based just took things to a whole nother level. I thought that I knew what feeling good felt like in my 20s, but I can honestly say now being in my 30s, I feel better than I ever did in my 20s. And it takes a lot of guts to go from being a 20 something, being whole food plant-based a few years in to a plant-based pregnancy and having one beautiful baby boy and then having a second plant-based pregnancy and now having a beautiful baby girl. So we now have a three and a half year old Mr. Max and a just turned one year old Olivia or Biv as we call her, which was Max's version of baby live condensed into one word. <laughs> So it's the perfect time to bring you guys up to speed. I'm gonna spill the beans already. Yes, I still consider myself vegan, but not just vegan, whole foods, plant-based. So that is a far cry from what the industry is trying to push us towards right now with this vegan lifestyle. So yes, there is a lot of propaganda right now, but I definitely disagree with people who are saying that it's some sort of evil vegan propaganda that's pushing us towards eating only fake mock meats and processed plant foods as opposed to eating our ancestral diet. I just don't buy it. While I do think there are a lot of big dogs in the game who are realizing that there is a trend with this vegan lifestyle, putting labels on their packaging and making it look pretty and sound healthy to an outsider who may be unfamiliar with the whole food plant-based lifestyle, it can be very enticing. And I think there is a lot of money to be made, but I don't think that this vegan agenda is the same as this whole foods plant-based abundant lifestyle where Dusty and I are essentially seeking truth 
and this is what we've come upon. And I feel in my heart of all hearts that we are doing what's right. We're doing a good thing. And that's not to say that if you eat animal products, you're wrong. I don't mean that by any means. All I mean is that for me and my family, knowing that we don't need those things to survive or to thrive. In fact, we can thrive without them perfectly fine. I just feel like if you don't need it, why eat it? I've always had aversions to meat. It's always disgusted me to cook it. I've always had aversions to dairy. I've never been able to drink a milk unless it was near frozen because it just, the taste disgusted me. And cheese, it just never appealed to me because it messed up my gut. Eggs messed up my cholesterol. I really enjoyed eggs. I felt like that was my last straw. That was all I had to cling to when I cut out the meat and when I cut out the dairy. I doubled up on the eggs because I needed the protein and my cholesterol doubled up as well. So coming from a family with a history of heart disease both on my mom's side and my dad's side, I really truly did not want to have to submit myself to the possibility of being on a statin drug for the rest of my life. So that is one of the biggest determining factors that has kept me plant-based is for my longevity. Not just because I'm afraid of having a heart attack. I feel like I do a lot of good things for my heart outside of eating, like exercising, finding ways to de-stress, getting in nature, being with loved ones, all of those things. So I feel like there are a lot of things contributing to my heart health. So aside from that, I'm still plant-based because I absolutely 100% love what I eat. I will say if you're looking for a diet that will keep you from ever getting a cold again, or keep you from ever having brain fog again, you're always going to come up short. It doesn't matter if it's a plant-based diet or a metabolic diet or a keto diet, you're always gonna have off days. And if you guys don't take anything else from this video, I want you to take authenticity away. I want you to take vulnerability away because it can be very easy, especially even for me, not so much dusty, but for us females in the social media space, it can be very easy to show only the glitz and the glam, only the highlight reel. We get so used to and caught up in putting our best foot forward, primping, looking our best, only showing our good side. Um, but I want to remind you that I'm human and that every influencer is human. For me personally, there's a lot of issues that I'm very sensitive about. I'm still very socially shy and awkward and anxious. I'm in my mid thirties, so I'm thinking a lot about aging and I'm very, you know, tiptoeing around that, not wanting to be into the anti-aging, fake fillers and plumping and all of that stuff. Um, I want to age gracefully in a natural way and I want to embrace and love my age and know that every single smile line is a good time, a good memory, and that every frown line, you know, is a lived, learned experience that I've come away with with a lesson. I recently had to do a little bit of a deep cleaning on my social media and unfollow a lot of news accounts, a lot of political accounts, um, things that were just coming up as draining to me. They were dense. Are you light or are you dense? That's a question to ask yourself. The foods you're eating, the content you're consuming, the things that are running through your mind, are they light or are they dense? I think it's more so about how can I inspire? How can I stay in the light? How can I be in the light? In fact, a Bible verse just popped up on my phone. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. So I'm trying my best to be in the light because I feel like it truly elevates my mood, it truly elevates my health, and honestly, that's why I eat the way I eat, and I love the way I eat, because it's elevating, it's light, it's uplifting, it's energizing, it's empowering, it's bright and beautiful and bold and colorful, and it literally ignites me. I have this fire in the belly. We're told to search for that. I always pray and look to God for the answers. God, just make it known to me. Show me the way. And he shows you if you're willing to look and listen. And I feel like that's what led me to this path, to this place, to this beautiful, abundant, plant-based diet and lifestyle, to living in the sunshine state of Florida. This might not be everybody's path or everybody's dream, but I definitely feel like it's mine. And yes, I'm still vegan, but I'm more than that. 
I'm 100% whole foods plant-based. Not because I'm married to this dogma or this label. I'm not confined to this prison, but in fact, I feel freedom within the confines, if you want to call them that. There is a structure around it. I don't feel trapped whatsoever. I in fact feel free. I feel free. A lot of people think about Christianity and faith in the same way. Being a confine, being a trap. I'm closing myself off. I'm shielding myself from possible other truths. But that's not the case whatsoever. There's freedom within the constructs. So what's it like being a plant-based mom of two little ones? It is a struggle on certain days, and on other days, it's pure bliss. So when we share our what I eat in a days, we catch, again, the good sides, the glimpses of the amazing, beautiful, yummy foods that we're making for the family. But on the same token, on the flip side, there are days when I feel like the kids won't touch anything. They, it was their favorite food the day before, and the next day they won't touch it. And that can be such a struggle. But you know what? It doesn't matter what diet you're on, kids will be kids. I promise you that. I know that a lot of you at home probably have kids that aren't eating a plant-based diet, and you can relate to me 100%. That being said, when it comes to nourishing not just yourself, but a whole entire family, things change a lot. The way you look at food changes a ton. So before, for me, when food was about you know keeping this healthy physique and food was about reversing the damage I had done from partying in college, food took on such a deeper meaning, such a more beautiful meaning to me when it came to growing and forming human life within me, quite literally seeing the fruits of my labor giving birth to two beautiful humans whose hair, skin, and nails, and bone structure, and beautiful soft skin were created within my body. Everything originating from Mother Earth. Like, plants are incredible, you guys. Even if you eat animals, animals are eating plants. Soil, life force, earth, vitamins, minerals, the sun, the salt, the sand, all of it. Everything took on a totally deeper meaning to me when it came to nourishing not just myself, but an entire family. On top of that, I wasn't just listening to my mama bear intuition. I wasn't just praying to God for guidance. I was doubling down on the details. I was steeping myself in the research and immersing myself in the literature finding other plant-based mamas out there who were nutritionists, dietitians, physicians, neurologists, which is a physician, but I really found myself getting back to what inspired me to go plant-based in the first place to, okay, now how do I do this with little kids? Not just to nourish them, but to also encourage them when they're being their pickiest. <laughs> so it was a struggle, let me tell you, but I have a plethora of different resources. I've got podcasts, books, websites, like I said, doctors who are very present on social media sharing their education. I have always educated myself on both sides of every argument, whether it's Republican or Democrat, whether it's vegan or meat eating, whatever the topic may be, I've always prided myself on that ability to play devil's advocate or to, you know, investigate both sides. I love nothing more than like a good old fashioned debate. So trust me, I've looked into everything because I'm not, like I said, married to this vegan label or this plant-based lifestyle. I am married to truth. Dusty and I consider ourselves truth seekers. And in fact, my most recent newsletter, which if you haven't already, you guys should definitely subscribe to, I talked a lot about this, about always being open to change, always being open to truth. The more that you're open and willing and receptive, the more easy it is for things to be downloaded into you and accepted by you. So I encourage you guys, if you do feel like you're too wound up too tightly with something, if something has become your God, begin to unravel, begin to investigate how you can unravel and unwind that tightness so that you're more receptive and able to find truth. Because when you're able to receive truth, 
and you're able to course correct as you continue on this journey of life that honestly there is no answer there's no definite answer to that's something I want you guys to know there will never be a perfect diet there will never be a perfect way to work out but the thing I love that has really helped me within this plant-based lifestyle especially going from being single 20 something to married to now having kids being plant-based there are so many iterations and variations and ways to do the plant-based diet just within being plant-based first off there's such an enormous variety of not just fruits and vegetables but grains legumes beans that i had never experienced before when i was eating a standard standard american diet there's so much variety so many different ways to enjoy it and there's so many different areas of emphasis when it comes to nutrients. You can do mostly raw or you can do fully raw. You can do raw till four. You can eat lots of fruits or you can eat lots of starchy vegetables. I've gone through a lot of different variations and I've learned to appreciate every single plant food for its benefit rather than its potential drawback. Every single food has a potential drawback. I just like my odds best with the plant kingdom because I feel like there are more pros than there are cons. If you guys want to take a deep dive into what we eat in a day as a plant-based family of four, we just did a video on that last weekend. We've done several of these. We love making these lifestyle videos for you because I feel like we feel so good and we feel so nourished and so whole, so complete and so blessed that we really truly want to share it with you guys. In fact, Dusty went out of his way to drive all the way an hour north to Sarasota to go to Whole Foods to get our family's grocery haul for the week and drove back down. So an hour both ways, plus an hour at the store. So I didn't have to go because it's important to both of us. We put in the work because it's important to us. And the funny part was he got stopped at the grocery store by an older woman who recognized him from YouTube and said the reason she was at the grocery store was because I had just mentioned something in the video. It was cashew butter, which is hilarious because we're obsessed with it. And she just had to have it. And that's why she was at Whole Foods. And her husband saw them talking, couldn't figure out why his wife was talking to Dusty for so long. And then he came up to them and he was like, I just figured it out. You're that guy that, they, that she watches on YouTube. And they proceeded to say how appreciative they were, how great they felt doing this plant-based lifestyle and how thankful they were that we were there putting out this information, sharing our beautiful family. And it really, really spoke to me. It got me excited. In fact, every time I have a comment from you guys like that that's uplifting, I have to screenshot it because there are darker days. There are days where I doubt myself and doubt my diet and doubt everything just because that's just how life is. We have days where we're unsure and God always plants a seed of hope, a seed of wisdom every time I feel like that. So if anything inside of you is holding you back from taking the leap of faith or if something's making you feel like pulling out, that's yours to discern. But I would encourage you to remain open and receptive to truth, to continue seeking and to pray to God for wisdom and guidance because I feel good. I feel really good. We're gonna keep doing this thing. I feel like I wanna cry. We're gonna keep doing this thing. The haters can hate, but the love is so much greater, so much greater. If you're feeling divided in any way, Maybe you have a parent who doesn't see things politically in the same lens as you do. Or maybe you're the only overweight person in your family. Or maybe you can't have kids. Or maybe you have some kind of undiagnosed dis-ease that's wreaking havoc on you. That's, that was me. I, I couldn't get the diagnosis that I thought I wanted. Instead of searching for symptoms, search for solutions. You've got to get serious. Whatever it is that's ailing you, causing your state of dis-ease, whether it's mental, emotional, or physical, you've got to go for it. It takes faith. It takes education, too. It doesn't just take prayer. God equipped us with a brain, and he expects us to use it. There are so many valuable resources out there. I'm not here to be a textbook for you guys. I'm not here to be a research journal. I'm not here to spout off statistics. I'm just living, breathing truth that this works, 
this lifestyle is abundant. It's beautiful. It's safe. I'm not just surviving. I'm thriving. Yes, I'm still plant-based. Yes, I'm still vegan, even though sometimes I shy away from the word. I still very much consider myself part of this movement. It's a grassroots movement. It's beautiful. I love being a part of it. I'm not married to it. I'm not bound to it. I'm not stuck and I'm not confined. I'm free, fully thriving, feeling my best, doing my best. Trust me, when you have small children, the last thing you want to do is a disservice to them. Our kids are ahead of their growth curve, ahead of their developmental milestones. They're beautiful. Most importantly, they're happy. I wouldn't have done this if there was any part of my being that felt like I was putting anybody at risk. I wouldn't have done any of this if I felt like I was experimenting. Even though, can we remind ourselves that life itself is one massive experiment? We mess up, we get messy, we fall down. Do we get back up again? That's what makes the difference. I like where we're going. And I like that you guys are coming with us. I feel really good about it. We don't have a million followers. Some people tell us we should. I don't know. I'm just super, super honored to be here with you guys. In fact, I wish sometimes that I could be speaking to everybody in person, which is why we love our Costa Rica retreats, I might add. There's nothing better than getting to connect with you guys in real life. Retreat number one, five, six years ago, Dusty and I laughed. I said, our goal should be to make sure everybody cries before they go home. I wanted it to be that good. I didn't want to get hung up on the proteins, carbs, and fats. I wanted everyone to dig deeper than that. That's why we're Eat, Move, Rest. We get back to the basics so that we're dialed in, so that we have access to the deeper truths within us. We all have. We all have these truths. They're there. People are going to give you crap for it along the way. Trust me. They're going to give you crap. It's a reflection. It's a reflection. That's all it is. When someone sees another person doing a good thing, it's a reflection on something they could be doing better. Some people will applaud you and other people will throw you under the bus. Because change is scary. Whether it's your best friend who changes or a complete stranger on the internet. Let people live and let them change. We're in this together. This isn't about division. I could care less if somebody eats meat or not. I choose not to because I don't need it. And if I don't need it, why eat it? And it's not about the food. This is soul nourishment, soul food. What we bring to you guys on this channel is not just a pretty plate of styled food. It's not just a smoothie bowl. It's about so much more than that. It's about self-worth. I've always been the shyest person on the block. I never had friends. I was too scared. You guys are my friends. This has been my biggest source of community that I've ever felt in my life. You guys are my friends. Crystal? There's people like Crystal, who we only know through inter the internet, who always has our back. You guys, this is big. Let's get back to humanity. Let's not focus so much on throwing people under the bus who disagree with us. There are so many different ways to live a beautiful life. Let's recognize humanity. We're not treating each other as humans. We need to have respect for humanity in every walk of life, every perspective, and seek understanding. And through that, truth becomes available to us. Remember that. Whether it's food, faith, fitness, family, when you seek understanding, truth will make itself known to you. All right, you guys, that's all I've got. 
Hope you enjoyed this. If you need encouragement, reach out. I reply to all of my Instagram DMs. Dusty does as well. I've already gone 10 minutes over. I hope you guys got it, got to this point in the video. If you did, leave me some love in the comments. Like I said, reach out on Instagram. I would love to hear from you guys. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.